Now, ABC6 News at 6, on your side. Uh, I want everybody to watch The Blue Line. Is today Tuesday? Yes. ABC6 is on your side with an exclusive look into the science of detecting lies. They say eyes are the window to the soul, and one technology company believes they're also the most efficient way to tell if a person is lying. All right, Gabby Hart taking a look now at this new technology that claims to see your lies. A new form of lie detection claims it can see the truth. There are markers in the eyes that um, are able to accurately determine if an individual is being deceptive. Neil Harris is the vice president of Converis, the company that created this new technology called iDetect. It uses only the eyes to determine if a person is lying. When uh, a human being is being deceptive, that there are these microdilations of the pupils. It's the extra mental energy that uh, it takes to be deceptive. I detect has been in the work since 2003. Only taking 30 minutes to complete, this new testing technology could be faster and more efficient than the old school polygraph. Its creators argue that I detect may have the edge because it isn't influenced by any human bias. So by re removing the human element, we believe we can make the assessment of credibility far more forensic in nature. Ron Slay is a security consultant who administers polygraph exams. He says in his 40 years of experience, he's seen all forms of deception. And he thinks it takes more than a computer system and answering a few questions to detect a lie. You can't automate the human mind. We wanted to put both methods to the test, so I sat down to see which machine would best read my lie. I'm in the hot seat. First, we put the standard polygraph to the test. Slay asked me two questions that were simple enough to answer honestly. Now, I want everybody to watch the blue line. Is today Tuesday? Yes. But before he even finished asking me the third question... At work, did you ever look at a boss with sincere eyes when you knew the reaction was already over? It took off and it's barely coming back again. Then we tested eye detect. Harris had me write down a number between two and eight and then hide it. I chose the number seven. The examiner told me to lie about my number to the machine, but to tell the truth on all the other questions as the eye detect system calibrated my eyes and then monitored my pupil dilation. I did not choose the number seven. Eight was not the number that I picked. Look at the spike on the seven. Safe to say that I got caught lying or preparing to lie on both tests. But Slay says it can sometimes be harder to catch the people you want to catch because they have their own truths. They're not really answering your questions at all. They are answering what they perceive to be your question. Slay and Harris agree that both eye detect and polygraphs can get it wrong sometimes. There will be some false positives and false negatives with eye detect as it exists today. But, but Harris says the beauty of computer algorithms algorithms is that they get smarter over time. I trust computers and algorithms far more than I would uh, a another human being. Still, the polygraph remains a powerful detection tool not likely to be replaced anytime soon. I think it's the age-old argument of man against the machine. Big-time technology company Apple has taken notice of eye detect. Apple purchased the sensor technology that's used to calibrate and read the eyes. Does this mean our iPhones could eventually become handheld lie detectors? Harris says only time will tell. I'm Gabby Hart reporting. Hmm. All right. Well, I detect hopes that the new technology will have a positive impact on society and give law enforcers another tool to help achieve justice. Maybe Apple's just going to use it so you can unlock your phone accurately. Right? That could be. <laughs> you bring up a right. good point. I wonder where it's all going, boy. We boy. shall see.